guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be making something that i've made before one time before it's a keto pizza because if you don't know i am doing the keto diet or possibly the keto lifestyle i don't know it's going well so far we're going to be making a keto pizza so we're going to do the dough first using um something called fathead dough and fathead dough is basically like a cheese dough with almond flour or coconut flour. So I'm using great, I'm using the super fine almond flour from Great Value. I'm using mozzarella cheese. I'm using a little bit, I think a tablespoon of cream cheese and one egg, which is currently sitting in some warm water because I didn't prep this before. So this is my little mixing bowl. I have my measuring cup here and I'm gonna pour in cup and a half of mozzarella so it's probably like all of this in this bag is this bag recyclable it's about a cup so i'm glad i went to the store and picked up more mozzarella yeah so a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese so go ahead and put that in your bowl now we're going to add in a two tablespoons of cream cheese. One. About two. Okay. Boom. You got the cheese in there. Now all you have to do is put this bad boy in the microwave. I'm going to do like 30 second intervals. Put it on a minute first, you know, we just gonna let that do what it do. This is a good time to preheat your oven to 375. So just go ahead and do that. So every so often, I just took the cheese out for the first time. And I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. Just kind of stir it together. It's starting to melt. It's doing what it do. I'm gonna pop it back in. Let it go again for a little while. Okay. We getting there. Getting there. Okay, I don't want to cook it, so... Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Yeah. That's good. So now, we're going to add in the egg. I went and got my mixer out. You personally, you don't have to get a mixer. I'm just choosing to mix it up with my mixer. So just throw your egg in there. Okay, so now we just need three fourths of a cup. Oh, here it is. This is my one fourth cup. So I'm just going to level it out and do three one-fourths. Just so I know I'm doing enough. You don't even have to. You can put this in a one cup. have to be as exact as me. Yep. Now I have to mix all of this in. I'm going to have to end up. I'm going to end up kneading this with my hand. But I want to get most of it packed in before i start touching it myself because this stuff can be super sticky so yeah i think i'm gonna do be it doesn't hurt to dust your workstation so Just gonna knead it a little bit so this time it's not as sticky on my hands before it was very sticky maybe I mix the cheese better this time I actually want all my cheese pieces so I'm just trying to make sure so that's pretty good. This is a pretty good dough. 
got it all packed in there. I have my little ball here. So now I'm going to cover it with another sheet of parchment paper. Last time I ran out of my parchment paper. So when it fell off the roll, I actually used that roll to roll my um, pizza dough. So you don't have to. Ha I literally bought this today, y'all. Last time I made this, I did not have one. And I'm just gonna flatten it out. Flatten it out. I don't want it to be too thin. So if I feel like the edge is too thin, I'm gonna roll it back up. <laughs> It doesn't have to be perfect, a perfect circle or anything, but this will do. So, picks up easy. Okay. So, this is, this is it, guys. I'm going to slide this on my baking pan. going to pop this in the oven for like eight minutes, y'all. Make sure you poke holes in the crust. So, take a fork. Yeah, just take a fork and poke holes in it so it doesn't get so bubbly. into the oven <laughs> I totally forgot that part I also like to just melt about a teaspoon of butter and throw in some garlic powder I do have some minced garlic but I don't want it to be too strong and I'm just gonna um, spread this on the pizza before I put on the pizza sauce and the toppings and things so this is just going on the crust this is what I have at the moment I don't want mine to cook that long. Take the buttery spread and put it on the pizza. Also, I like my pizza on the softer side, but if you want yours to be a little more crunchy, you can leave it in longer. But I will say last time I feel like my pizza was flatter, so I wanted a little bit more height. So when I rolled it, I left a little thickness on my pizza. You can definitely roll it out as flat as you want or spread it however you're doing that. So, yeah. I'm using the Classico Fire Roasted Pizza Sauce. It has six carbs in there. Make sure you dress it up to your liking. But for me, I don't really care too much about the sauce. So, having less is better for me to add your cheese i'm gonna top it off with mozzarella and i'm just gonna eyeball it you can measure it out if you want okay grate some parmesan gonna dress it up dress it up dress it up i'm gonna pop this back in the oven for about eight to ten minutes so if you want it a more crispier crust then you can take it you can add more time and keep an eye on it but i want a softer crust get off the baking pan yeah that's the bread i like But it's keto pizza, keto, keto pizza, keto pizza, keto, keto pizza. Looks very pizza eat on the bottom as well. Pepperoni pizza. This one turned out perfect. My first one was really good as well, but it had more of a crunchy crust on it. This one has a bit of a little bit softer crust. Like really, if you're just, you already know what you're making, you already know how to make it. It really takes like less than 30 minutes, guys, for the whole thing. This is seriously one of my favorite keto meals. I've made keto cookies. The crust looks so good.
Okay, guys, I hope you try this keto pizza low carb. I really, really like it. It's super easy to make. Like, you cannot mess this up. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried it. And also, let me know what other keto recipes I should try next. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like me and my content. And lastly, leave me a comment down below. We'll love to hear your guys' thoughts. Have you ever tried anything keto? Any special different type of foods? I'm thinking about making zucchini spaghetti next. So stay tuned for that one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!